Hey everybody, this is Larry with Hobby Progress, and this is the tasting room. Today I've got two pretty different beers for you. I've got the Martin City High Five Red Pale Ale, and then I have the Heavy Riff Brewing Company Love Gun Vanilla Cream Ale. So these are not really a straight up comparison. Uh, they're both ales, so that's the main reason I put them together. But uh, to tell you the truth, I'm running to the bottom of my stock. Uh, the heavy riff was left uh, in my refrigerator after a party, so I'm going to try that. So thanks, Paul, for letting me drink your beer. And then the Martin City Irish High Five is one I picked up to try uh, a while back and never got around to reviewing for some reason. So we're just uh, clearing out the backlog today, folks. So we're going to get started with the Martin City Irish High Five. Now, I usually like Irish ales. Uh, a good red ale uh, can be really nice, but, and I like Martin City quite a bit, so i am got high hopes for this one. Um, we are 6% alcohol by volume, so that's pretty decent for a red ale. Um, it's not very red, uh, just right off the get-go. Um, it's a really nice amber color, uh, it pours really nice. Smells like a red ale, though. Mmm. Okay. So that's why they call it a pale ale. Um, it's very hoppy right up front. But actually finishes kind of like a red ale. That's actually pretty good. Um, it's got a lot of bitter to it, but... Uh, not in a bad way. Like it's it it really has that IPA um, smack in the face, uh, but it really finishes with a lot of the um, not earthy tones like a like a red ale would, but it, it finishes really smooth. Um, Yeah, so it finishes really smooth, but still has that bite all the way through. Um, I really enjoy this one, actually. Um, this would be a session kind of beer if you're out at like a beer festival or something like that, uh, doing your St. Patrick's Day kind of thing. Uh, I would recommend this one. It's not going to dry you out a whole lot, um, but it's still got that IPA punch. Um, and at 6% alcohol by volume, not going to get you too messed up too fast. Um, you know, the longer I let it sit, you can kind of see the red in it, um, but it's definitely got that pale ale feel. So it's a little bit lighter than some of the reds. It doesn't have as much earth as some of the reds I've had. Um, yeah, it's definitely more pale ale. So if you're not a fan of IPAs and you're more of a fan of like a flatter ale, this one's still got a lot of fizz to it. So if you're a fan of the flatter ales, probably not uh, what you're looking for there. All right, we're going to jump over, and we're going to try the Love Gun. Um, this is a vanilla cream ale. It says, uh, ale with natural flavor added. <laughs> well, it doesn't everything. This one, I have absolutely no idea what to expect out of this. I've never had anything from this Heavy Riff Brewing Company. Um, I think we are, where did I see it? 4.6% alcohol by volume. So this is a really light ale. Um, it is reflective of that in its color. It is, uh, very yellow, uh, and fizzy. Um, so remember how I said the other one didn't look very red? Compared to the Love Gun, the Irish High Five is just red. It uh, doesn't have that amber color, and you can definitely see that here. Wow, you just get a nose full of vanilla when you smell that. Hmm. Ooh, and that's all you get on your tongue, too. It's crazy amount of vanilla. That's not actually a bad thing. That beer tastes like drinking a cream soda. 
Um, yeah, that's just a vanilla cream soda. That's actually really good. Um, this isn't something I would drink on a regular basis, uh, just because it's pretty sweet, really. Um, but it goes down incredibly smooth. Um, I like the the mouth feel of it. It uh, it's just very light, very um, refreshing, um, and just a bunch of vanilla. That is ridiculous. That's just a good fizzy beer. Um, I'm anxious to try some other stuff from that brewing company, actually, because if it's got the same feel as this, um, that's fantastic. Um, like I said in the beginning, these are not straight up comparison beers. Other than the fact that they're both ales, um, they've really got next to nothing in common. The Love Gun is so much thinner and lighter than the Irish High Five. Um, it's uh, very one-dimensional as far as its flavor goes, because like I said, I can peg that flavor right from the get-go. That is an Irish cream ale. I mean, just, or just a vanilla cream ale. Just like it says on the can, it is exactly that. Now, the Irish High Five is more complex. It has some extra flavors added. I think if you gave it some time, you could probably pick out some fun stuff. It's got some more tones and stuff to it. But um, it's just, these are two separate beers, so it's hard to judge them head to head. Um, I like them both. Uh, I'd have to say if it's hotter out and I'm going to a concert or something like that, um, that Love Gun would be perfect. Uh, you could mix that uh, into your, your drinking rotation and not have an issue at all. Um, it's very refreshing and you could drink that all day. Yeah. I really like it. Um, the Irish High Five, however, I wouldn't recommend going after on a hot day as much, uh, because it does have the IPA feel. It does dry you out a little bit, but not too much. And, uh, it's just a more complex and interesting flavor. Um. Yeah, it's much more IPA, but it's IPA without the citrus. It's more of an IPA with like maybe fruit undertones, but not like fruit fruit. Um, wow, you actually mix the two, uh, going one right after the other like that. Um, they actually work kind of well together. I really like it. Mm. So yeah, the Irish High Five is really more of a fall beer or a spring beer. Uh, if it's a little chilly outside or something, you're not going to be drinking super uh, fast and heavy. I definitely recommend the Irish High Five. Warm outside, going to a concert, going to be drinking all day. I like the Heavy Riff. Um, also, it comes in pint cans, which I always enjoy a good 16-ounce beer, um, if you can get a hold of it. Nothing against the 12-ounce beers, but just seems like you get more bang for your buck out of the 16s. Both of these were amazing. I really recommend them uh, all across the board. Um, so if you liked any either of these beer reviews, I def definitely recommend going and picking them up. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, you can always hit me up on my Facebook page at Hobby Progress, or you can leave a comment here on the YouTube channel, or you can email me, hobbyprogress at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.